some friends who I think are in this room. Did you do it out? Did it Celebrating. We are celebrating for resilience in 4D McAllen Ferguson. <laughs>
I want to thank you for joining us for our first virtual roaming spirit rally, whatever you want to call it. It was a great morning where we celebrated our face-to-face -face citizens of character. We want to thank all the parents who popped into that morning Zoom to celebrate their children. So thank you guys. We hope that it was a special experience for your kids and for yourself. We're about to start our virtual learners and we're going to be celebrating our citizens of character that are virtual. So you should be watching this video and it should show you all of your friends and classmates that were our citizens of character for patience and resilience. So once again, thank you guys and thank you for your patience and resilience as we get through huh, finally the end of 2020. Here we go. So let's start with our citizens of character and I'm going to go ahead and start with patience. All right. I can't see parents that are at home, but I'm waving. Hopefully you can see me. I'm going to start with patience in fifth grade, Naisha Day in 5B. Naisha is a great example of the character trait patience. 5B classmates reported that she is always patient when listening or explaining a difficult task. They commended her on her ability to remain calm and patient with all members of a group during her group work. When Naisha has a question or comment, she quietly raises her hand and waits for a response. 5B is so proud of you for being an excellent model of patience. Great job. From 4C in the area of patience, Anson Chen. Anson is a great example of the character trait of patience. He is one of the first learners patiently waiting the start of all the Zooms, of all of his Zooms. He works hard all day and waits his turn no matter how long it takes. Anson is always up for a challenge, no matter how hard it might be. He has navigated the world of virtual learning and schedule changes with ease. 4C is so proud of you, Anson. We love you. All right, for patience in 1C. For Miss Shoemaker's class, Yaman Surya. Yaman shows patience every day. He always waits his turn and raises his hand if he wants to share or has a question. Yaman is always there to lend a helping hand for his classmates and educators. Way to go, Yaman. 1C is lucky to Thank have you. you. All right, from 1D, Gemma Thornley. Gemma is a true example of patience. She always raises her hand and waits her turn to speak. She is patient on Zooms with her peers and when she wants to share and when she wants to share her work with other teachers, with the teachers or class. Gemma takes her time on her work and always gives her best. Gemma girl, you keep being a shining light and example, the, the example you are. Wendy is super lucky to have you. Yay! <laughs> All right, from early childhood pre-K in the area of patience, Rhea Park. Rhea is a great example of a learner who has shown patience over the course of this year. She is caring to all and always willing to help others. Rhea is patient when waiting her turn to wash her hands, waiting her turn to share her ideas, and waits for her turn while other, with others during centers. Pre-K is very lucky to have an awesome friend like Rhea in our class. Great job. Those are our virtual learners who earned a citizen of character in the area of patience. Thank you guys. All right, we're gonna look at resilience. So we have some virtual learners who are demonstrating the character quality of resilience. We are gonna start in fourth grade with Ibsen Kassib. Feeling good? Yay, Yay Ibsen! Yay! Yay. Ibsen shows Yay. resilience every day. He is a hard and strong worker and doesn't give up. Ibsen asks questions and also helps questions and also helps others to understand. Ibsen is kind and knows how to handle the tough situations with the class. Ibsen is a resilient member of 4E. Thanks for your great example. We love you. Thanks. In third grade from 3B, Nor Batty. 
If you'd like to witness Noor in action with an extra scoop of resilience, just hop on a Zoom with us any day. She always wears a smile and a positive attitude, but on top of that, when learners get stuck because of technology issues, Noor's the first one to say, oh, I can help with that. I know how to fix that. She even makes help desk videos and posts them so others can learn and be successful. It's uncanny, really. Nothing deflates her. What a model for all of us. Great job, Noor. Thank you, Ms. Hall. All right, from 2A on Visa La Cala. Yay! Yay! <laughs> when it comes to resilience, Anvisa has it in spades. She meets with multiple teachers on different Zooms daily. While some learners might find it hard to keep track of that much, uh, of that much work, she shows up prepared and excited to learn each and every time. Anvisa is a hard worker and gives her best to whatever she tries. Congratulations, Anvisa. Keep up all of your amazing work. Thank you. All right, in first grade, Arjun Chowdhury. 1A voted for Arjun as our citizen of character for resilience. He joins our school Zoom sessions every day, eager to learn and work hard. He consistently tries his best on every assignment or project he is given. Even when Arjun is faced with a challenge, he always has a positive attitude and uses different strategies to overcome the challenge. You are a shining example of what it means to be resilient. We are so glad to have you in our class. Also from first grade, Mahika Pachori. Mahika was nominated for our Citizen of Character for Resilience. She comes to Zooms every day with a positive attitude and is ready to learn, even when things are difficult. Mahika works hard to understand and get the work done. Glenn B is lucky to have you. All right, from kindergarten in the area of resilience, Luca Alvarado Garnica. Luca is someone who never gives up and, and is willing to try something new. He tries his best and then gives additional effort to spring back from something that is difficult or challenging. He is encouraging with his thumbs up on Zoom for his classmates. His daily good morning and smile make him a wonderful classmate for, uh, for K3. Great job, Luca. And for pre-K, early childhood is Farjam Farouk. Farjam is a great example of someone who knows how to use resilience every day. Farjam is always working hard to make sure his work is excellent. He is determined to learn new things and is always wanting to learn to know more about a topic. He always has a positive attitude and encourages others to work hard too. Pre-K loves having Farjam as a part of our class. Great job. Now, I am going to check my list because I have it. I wanna make sure that I announced everyone and I'm so happy I looked at my list because I did not. Oh my goodness, guess what? When your name is at the very top of a page, sometimes it's hidden from Miss Hall. So I'm so happy that I checked because in the area of patience in fourth grade, Brooks Herndon. All right, <laughs> Brooks works so hard every single day while he is working at home. No matter what challenges he comes across, whether that be technology issues or a hard assignment, Brooks always responds with kindness and patience. He is quick to listen to what others have to say, and he is consistently demonstrating how patience is a trait he embodies well. 4A loves you, and we are so proud of you, Brooks. Let's check my list. You know who else checked that list Thank you. once or twice? We did this, we did this, we've got this. Yes, yes, uh-oh, checking my list. I think I've got everybody, guys. Yay. If you are on that virtual screen, I can't see you, but Ms. Schneider's watching. Please raise your hand if, if I did not call you and you were expecting to be called because I think I got everybody. Patience and resilience. All right, guys, congratulations. And we have a treat for you. Our spirit rally, or usually for our spirit rallies, you would get a, a citizen of character ribbon and a t-shirt. Guess what, a t-shirt. What I want to invite parents, if you want, you can email myself or Ms. Schneider and tell us your child's t-shirt size and what time you'd like to come by today. And we will have your ribbon, ribbon, and your t-shirt waiting for you on our front cart. So once again, you can either email myself or Ms. Schneider and we will get that pulled together for you. So you can pick it up and you can sport your new fancy Spirit Rally t-shirt and your honorable ribbon because you all have earned it. Thank you guys for being patient. Yes. And thank you for being resilient. Yes. Have a great weekend, everybody, and a great two weeks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.